And they were once part of much controversy for drivers in Baltimore City. But after a few years off, the city will reactivate those speed cameras in less than 24 hours. WJZ is live. Amy Yancey has the details on the extra enforcement that could lead to a ticket in the mail for those speeding drivers. Amy. Marcus, the cameras will go up at some school zones. For now, drivers who violate will get a warning in the mail, but not for long. Baltimore City is enforcing its speed limit with 10 new cameras. If you ask officials, the speed cameras placed at seven school zones are meant to deter reckless driving. Some drivers we spoke to say the motive is monetary. I think it's, it's a way for them to make money, but they really don't care about people's safety. The cameras are in areas with high pedestrian traffic and accident rates. Since they're portable, the Department of Transportation can move them as needed. For now, drivers caught going higher than the speed limit by 12 miles per hour or more will get off with a warning in the mail. The warning phase will last 30 days. At the conclusion of that 30-day warning period, we are going to begin issuing violations which have a fine of $40 each. The city tried photo enforcement before. Four years ago, the program had to be scrapped after drivers successfully proved they were fined incorrectly. But the revamped program promises to be different and fair with a dedicated staff and independent analysts and a quality assurance team. The police department will review and sign off every violation before it's mailed, an effort to restore confidence. Probably just another grab for money, but other than that, it uh, doesn't bother me any. In a city of weary drivers. Now, Marcus, once this phase is completed, the city will then add red light and truck cameras. No word yet on when exactly that will happen. Reporting live, Amy Yancey, WJZ Eyewitness News. A reminder to everyone to slow it down. Thank you, Amy. Now, those speed cameras will only be operational Monday through Thursday or Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Once the red light and truck cameras are phased in, they will be active 24 hours, seven days a week.